<sighs> the Saints are broke as hell. <laughs> Before we talk about the cap hell that they are in, let's cut to the intro. Hey, hold my quote I just found. What's up, y'all? Hope you're having a wonderful day, because the New Orleans Saints surely are not. Actually, I have an idea. The New Orleans Saints are this broke right now. Let's get that out of there. So the Saints are $25 million over the cap. This is after they cut Janoris Jenkins and Emmanuel Sanders, all those guys. They are broke. Seriously, whoever their numbers guy is should be fired. And when you're looking at the players that are still on their payroll right now, which is hardly anybody, you got who? Defensive tackle Malcolm Brown. He'll save you about, what, three or four million dollars? Great. Shaves it down to 21 million. Woo! So I'm really confused on what the Saints are actually going to try to do. Are they just going to roll off the roster they have right now? Because it's a worse roster than what they put out there against the Buccaneers when they basically got owned the entire game. So what are the Saints going to do? We're just going to trade all their picks? Cool, that's only $7 million that we're going to save if they trade every single draft pick. New Orleans needs a better team around them if they want to go further in the playoffs. And one thing I'm confused about, Drew Brees hasn't actually said he's retired yet. Now this means one of two things. Either Drew Brees is coming back next year and playing another season for the Saints, or the Saints are stuck with Jameis Winston. Now, I'm not saying Jameis is a horrible quarterback, but he's got a lot of stuff to work on. And we didn't even get to see Jameis last year when Breeze got injured because we put in Taysom Hill. Speaking of the devil, he's making a lot of money. They could save $5 million from cutting him. Of course, I didn't have this on record, so I can't really claim that I said this was a horrible idea. But dude, everyone knew this was a horrible idea. The Saints are strapped with cap. They have holes on their offense and their defense. And they don't really have a way of getting better besides the draft. I'm well aware that the cap went down 8%, so players are probably going to take less than what they'd normally get due to, you know, the COVID thing happening. But even with that, the Saints still can't really do that much. Think about it. Under offense, they have Michael Thomas at receiver. That's about it. Deontay Harris, maybe. Jared Cook is gone. Josh Hill is gone. Who's for tight end going to be? Is he just going to be some guy who's probably going to be a nobody? And look, if Drew Brees is back next year, they better just kiss their Super Bowl hopes goodbye. Because if you saw Drew Brees this year, his arm strength is just completely gone. This also brings up the question, is Taysom Hill worth the money to be a gadget guy that is in for maybe 10 plays a game? Now, normally I'd say, well, you shouldn't have paid Taysom Hill that much money in the first place. The second thought is, he's extremely valuable to this team still. But with the cap hell that they are in, I don't know if they should be paying him that much. Malcolm Jenkins, you can't cut him. It's $18 million in dead cap penalty. What are the Saints doing? Look, when it comes to their defense, their defensive line still looks pretty solid. Their linebacker core, not great. Their safeties are fine, but dude, when you get to cornerbacks, they're incredibly shallow at that position. They can't really do anything else unless they move on from a guy like Ryan Ramchek or Marcus Lattimore, who are really important to their playoff hopes. This may be an unpopular opinion, but signing Alvin Kamara to a five-year, $75 million deal, I don't think that's a great move. Now, if you're a team that actually has money, that's solid, but running backs, they come and go a lot. I understand how good Alvin Kamara is and how important he is to the Saints, but look at it, look at what Jacksonville did. They got James Robinson. I know not every single running back that's undrafted is like James Robinson, but they got James Robinson, and it was a steal. They have all their picks. They could draft a running back in the mid-rounds after they address one of those key positions because they're losing so many guys because they can't afford to pay them. Another possible scenario is trading some of these bigger-named guys after June 1st by trading them away. 
which if you're a contender, you probably shouldn't do. Normally, a point of doing one of these is to say, okay, well, if I were the Saints, what would I do to change this? But before June 1st, they're pretty much stuck. Unless they start just shedding off every single contract that they have where they'll get positive money back from cutting that player, there's nothing they can do. And even after June, the only thing they really can do is just move on from bigger named players. Look, the Saints are a great team. Even if they move some of these guys, they could probably still be a playoff team. But their Super Bowl contention window is basically shut out unless they make something major happen. If Drew Brees is back, they're not winning a Super Bowl. If Jameis Winston becomes the starter, who they still have to pay, by the way. I still don't think they're a contender unless Jameis took a lot of notes from Drew Brees. To everyone out there saying, ooh, trade Michael Thomas, not going to happen. First of all, they can't afford to do it right now. And the other reason is they're screwed at wide receiver if they move on from Michael Thomas. You cannot have Deontay Harris being your number one option, and I doubt any rookie in this draft class who's a wide receiver is going to step up and make the same level of production that Thomas has. The Saints bear hope and pray that they can just restructure everyone's contract and all the players are going to be willing to do that. Another quick thing, if Drew Brees does retire, there's still going to be a lot of money in dead cap. It doesn't help out the Saints that much. I guess to conclude this, my advice to everyone out there watching, listening, keep an eye on the Saints. They might make a crazy trade. And if they do make that crazy trade or that crazy move, remember, they're probably doing that to save money. Because, I'll get out my whiteboard again. One second. The Saints are broke. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, please like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There's also a Google Forms down in the description. If you have any ideas for something you want me to talk about, make sure to fill that out. It's anonymous, by the way. Besides that, everyone stay safe, and I'll see y'all later.